we'll see how to find the energy values of harmonic oscillator using wkb approximation i have taken this problem from quantum mechanics by jarl das generally the classical turning point is occurred when the potential energy is equal to the total energy so if you take a harmonic oscillator the potential energy is half m omega squared x squared so that is equal to e so in that case x squared is equal to 2e by m omega so omega squared and x is equal to plus or minus 2e by m omega squared whole per half so x1 is Uh, equal to minus 2e by m omega square whole per half and x2 is 2e by m omega square whole per half so the particle is constrained to move between these x1 and x2 so the energy of this harmonic oscillator is obtained by using the formula 2 integral p dx is equal to n plus half into h so integral p dx is equal to n plus half pi h cross so you know the energy of the harmonic oscillator is e is equal to p squared by 2m plus half m omega squared x squared so from that you can calculate p is equal to 2m into e minus half m omega squared x squared whole per half so substitute this equation 5 in 4 you can get integral from x1 to x2 into 2m e Minus half m omega squared x squared whole per half dx is equal to n plus half into pi h cross. Now you take m omega squared by 2e whole per half x is sine theta. So if you differentiate this, then it is m omega squared whole by 2e whole per half dx is equal to cos theta d theta. So uh, now you substitute x is equal to x one. So sine theta becomes Minus m omega square divided by 2e whole per half 2e by m omega square whole per half, so it is equal to minus one. So sine theta is equal to minus one, so that implies theta is equal to minus pi by two. Similarly, if you substitute x equal to x two, then you can get sine theta is equal to one, so theta is pi by two. So now you can get the limit uh, x one and x two in terms of theta, so it is minus pi by two to plus pi by two. So the equation six becomes integral from minus pi by two to pi by two, two m e into one minus sine square theta whole per half into two e by m omega square whole per half cos theta d theta that is equal to n plus half e pi h cross. So it is equal to uh, if you simplify it is equal to two e by omega whole uh, into integral from minus pi by two to pi by two cos Square theta d theta that is equal to n plus of pi h cross. Now if you in uh, you have to integrate that so cos square theta uh, can be written as cos two theta is equal to two cos square theta minus one so cos square theta is cos two theta plus one divided by two. Now you integrate it then it is integral from minus pi by two to pi by two cos square theta d theta is equal to. Um, That is your uh, cos two theta plus one divided by two. So now, if you integrate, it is equal to minus sine two theta by two plus theta divided by two. And you have to substitute the limit minus pi by two to two pi by two. And if you substitute this limit for sine two theta, it is equal to sine. It's like sine pi. Sine pi is zero. So if you substitute this limit, then you can get the result as pi by two. Only it has the value for theta. So it is. So now you substitute this in equation nine, then you can get two e by omega into pi by two is equal to n plus half pi h cross. So e is equal to n plus half into h cross omega. This is the energy value for harmonic oscillator. This we have derived using WKB approximation. Thank you.